Coming up, Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade, Jewel banned in the United States, Pope Francis announces his visit to Canada, aka the uh, United States with maple syrup and good healthcare, and how to solve climate change. Greetings, and welcome to The Short Show, where we just go with the flow. News. As the entire North American world has been avidly discussing for the last week, the Supreme Court of the United States has overturned Roe v. Wade. For those uncultured swine who think that Roe v. Wade was last night's UFC heavyweight matchup, the names in fact refer to the infamous 1973 Supreme Court ruling that provided Americans with an absolute right to an abortion in the first trimester of pregnancy, but allowed for restrictions in the second trimester and for prohibitions in the third. The decision now uh, paves the way for individual states to uh, ratify their own abortion laws with 13 having already passed so-called uh, trigger laws to automatically outlaw abortion. With more on this story is our in-house expert Mo Lester, live from Washington at the moment. Uh, Mo, how's the uh, temperature out there on the streets at the moment in the, uh, in the capital? Yeah, it's not too, uh, not too bad. Some, some scattered showers slightly moisturizing the protesters outside, but we are expecting some partly sunny skies later today, so might need to pull out that 60 FPS uh, lotion if you, uh, if you catch my flow. No, I'm not talking about the bloody weather, you knob. I want to know how people are reacting to this historical decision. Well, let me just put it this way for you, okay? My father always used to tell me when I was a child, Mo, always, always treat women with respect. And then he spent uh, half his paycheck in a strip club. But I've kept that same mentality ever since. And when a decision like this, like the one made by the Supreme Court, comes to the fore, I can only help but think that at the end of the day, what, what, what does this mean for us as individuals, as, as, as living sentient beings? Well, right? that's what I'm asking you. Why though, right? Why are you asking me? Why don't you ask yourself? Ever, ever thought of it that way? Tell me, Mo, did you actually go speak to anyone outside in the, uh, on the streets right now? A good question. One that, that I think you can find the answers to. You yourself. haven't, have you, you pillock? Um, no. Mo, thank you. That was our in-house expert, Mo Lester. To the tropical paradise that is Mexico now, where 11 gang members and a monkey were reportedly killed in a shootout with authorities. That's why the police were in uh, no mood for any monkey business as they engaged in a shootout with local gang members. Authorities confirmed the killing of a spider monkey complete in a hoodie, bulletproof vest, a diaper, and a helmet. As we are unable to provide you with an actual image of the deceased primate, here is an amateur sketch depicting the dead mascot. The Supreme Pontiff of the Catholic Church announced that he would be visiting Canada, fulfilling a promise he made in March to an indigenous delegation he met while in Rome. This trip comes at a time when the country of Canada is grappling with the legacy of its residential school system. The Canadian government has in fact announced that they will be funding trips for residential school survivors who wish to go speak to the pontifical power broker in an effort to aid reconciliation and healing. As a respect for the plight of those who underwent abuse and trauma, we shall now observe a moment of healing ourselves. Did your summer spin, Laden? Please launch the Top 10 Hottest Yoga Hits playlist and kindly roll me a blunt. You foreign fuckton, I asked for relaxing yoga music, not Arab rap. Gosh, I'm trying to heal here, not grow some extra chest hair. Ah, much better. Right. Line those chakras, repeat with me. I forgive you. I relinquish my material possessions. Long live our leader, Xi Jinping. Down with capitalism. And now, rule of time. <laughs> money, 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 money. Right, Brent, what do you uh what do you have for us today then? 
I mean, this is, this is just monumental, man. What, 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 what I'm going to tell you, it's going to change the lives of millions of people. Well, uh, butter my arse and call me a muffin. Spill the, uh, spill the bloody beans then, will you? Uh, sorry, sorry, what? Well, dye me ginger and call me Ed Sheeran. What's, what's the news? You're right, pal? I'm in love with the shape of you. We, uh, we push and pull like a magnet do. <laughs> uh, last night you were in my room. <laughs> yeah. You do that again, I'm gonna fire you. Now, get on with it. Well, in an absolutely devastating blow to the personalities of every 17-year-old teenager, uh, the, the United States is banning the sale of all products sold by Juul. That's right, folks. The, uh, f the Food and Drug Administration, or the uh, FDA, yo, <laughs> that would be actually a dope-ass name for a drug, eh? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> uh, the FDA has been attempting to, you know, clamp down on the e-cigarette market for, for a while now. And, and this move comes, you know, as the most serious form of regulation by the government, stating that, stating that the, the ban was enacted for the, for the protection of public health standards. I mean, who the hell names the company Juul anyways, right? I mean, that sounds like the name I'd give a cheap energy drink that, you know, ends up giving you kidney cancer. Well, it does give you cancer, <laughs> uh, just to the lungs though. So, uh, I mean, vaping pods are often presented as a, you know, healthier alternative to traditional tobacco cigarettes, but the, but the products do contain high concentrations of nicotine and their use has, you know, really just skyrocketed amongst uh, amongst high schoolers. Right, that is a bit, uh, that is a bit worrying, but what does this have to do with my, my finances, right? My, uh, my moolah, <laughs> my shekels, right? My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I, I, I was about to get to that, pal. Uh, Jewel will appeal the decision, but as of now, the firm's shares are down um, 9%, and the expansion of the entire brand is in jeopardy. Like, like, what the fuck, man? That's not cool. You know, how am I supposed to shill, you know, sketch a crypto coins to chicks and bar without my faithful peach and raspberry blend, right? Do you often, you know, engage in, uh, in jeweling? Do, do I even jewel, bro? <laughs> do, do you even jewel? Like, do you even jewel? Well, well what, about, what about you, Osama? Do you, you know, have a sort of well, I mean, considering the explosive qualities of, of vapes, I'm sure you've got you know, plenty in your pockets. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one, right? Watch, 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 watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, dudes, what the fuck? Stop. Stop, dude. Don't disrespect the art. Don't disrespect the art like that, man. I, I bet y'all can't rip some sweet-ass ghosts like me. Stop. Oof, that's deadly, that. Oof. Smoking the ganja. Dude, it's called juuling, okay? It's juuling. You, you freaking loser, it's juuling. Stop. Dude, stop it, okay? Cut it out. Stop it. And now a quick word from the sponsor of today's episode. Something. Are you a bored, lazy, and involuntarily single individual who, well, can't cook for shit? Looking to add some literal and figurative extra spice to your life? Well, Fret no more, my little chocolate cupcake, as some food is here to help. Meal kit services have gained an increasing importance in our daily lives. Meal kits are clean, they're quick, they're efficient, and they're quality. But at the end of the day, isn't that all rather boring? Who doesn't like adding in a bit of extra excitement and spontaneity into their cooking? Well, besides your average gym bro who does meal preps. Uh, introducing some food. Unlike good food or Hello Fresh or even Blue Apron, some food don't charge you exorbitant amounts of money for shitty aioli garlic salad dressing. It's simple. You order a box, you get a box. The twist, all the ingredients are mysterious, so you'll never know what you'll get. Ordered a lasagna for your big dinner party? Well, fuck you. Here's some random raw garden vegetables with a roll of pastry and some salsa. Were well, you looking forward to impressing your date with a three course meal and dessert? Well, not their fault you ended up eating uh, baked Cheerios served with a side of hot sauce and onion soup. Keep the suspense alive right until the end. Get 20% off right now by signing up for the all-new Urban Socialite plan, which comes with free same-day delivery, an extra portion of kale salad, and a complimentary supply of laxatives. Remember, some food is always better than no food. The climate emergency, global heating, the climate crisis, global warming, these they're all terms used to refer to a problem that has been growing ever since the advent of veganism. Politicians, activists, thinkers, and cannabis smokers alike have so far failed to present any realistic solutions to an issue that threatens the stability of the world as we know it. But it seems that one small community may have found a fix that could potentially save a lovable flying rock from impending doom. 
it's time for the Rupert Report. <laughs> Climate change, it's happening, and it's happening now, whether you like it or not. As our planet slowly succumbs to pollution, resource exploitation, and hysterical unemployed pink-haired college dropouts, governments have gradually understood that something needs to be done, and it has to be done soon. But is it already too late? How do we fix our climate, and can we even fix it? So many questions, yet so little time to find the answers. Except, except if we can employ radical means to achieve radical results. And this is exactly what the small community of Thornbury is doing. Nestled outside a major urban centre, Thornbury is your typical suburban wasteland. Every house looks the same, everyone either drives a Mercedes or a BMW, and the most captivating space in the community is the Holocaust Memorial. But what Thornbury may lack in excitement, it makes up for in the first place in the entire world to institute a new method that promises to revolutionise how governments tackle climate change. Well, what does this method consist of, you ask? Perhaps forcing everyone on a plant-based diet? No, because most of these rich wankers already think eating weeds for lunch is, uh, cool. Maybe it's banning the use of combustion-powered, uh, vehicles. <laughs> well, you'd be wrong again, you dimwit, because without their white BMWs, these retirees have about as much personality as a stainless steel pepper grinder. Rather, Thornbury are the first township in the world to institute individual carbon allocations. That's right, each inhabitant of this outlying uh, shithole are allocated daily limits of individual carbon emissions. These limits are determined by the Carbon Union of New Thornbury, or CUNT for short. But how does one go about enforcing such a radical initiative? Well, the community have had to call on the services of the newly instituted CUNT force, the, uh, well, officially the world's first carbon police force. The Rupert Report have been granted exclusive access to their chief, Constable Shanene. Now, you are Constable Shanene, is that, uh, is that correct? Damn right. How do you prefer to be referred to? Do you just go by Sha? It's Shanene. Or maybe it's Nene. Just Shanene. You rather Nay? Call me Shanene. Perhaps Nay Shanene. Shanene. Nay Sha? Nay. Sha Sha? Shanene. Nay? Sha? Watch me, whip, watch me. Nene. Now, Constable, you're the chief of the uh, Kunt force. How does it feel to be leading the world's first carbon police force? To be quite honest, it's an immense honor and responsibility. For too long have we ignored the issue of climate change, and I can proudly say that I'm an integral part of the solution because there's really no doubt about it. The model we have here is the future. How did you obtain this rather unusual position? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I was facing the right way a couple of seconds ago. No, no, I'm, I'm talking about your job. I mean, I actually just walked into an artisanal gourmet organic slavery-free fair trade gluten-free coffee shop to pick up a soy latte. They had the posting on a piece of recycled cardboard near the wellness corner. What do you know? Your experience uh, speaks for itself. Tell me, what goes into running this entire operation? Uh, who's uh, pulling the strings? You know, we're pretty minimalistic. We try to limit our electricity usage, so we've centralized the operations center on this phone, actually. You can see what it looks like. We've got the HQ over here, barracks on the force units, whole show. Remarkable. Though it does bear an awful lot of resemblance to the popular mobile game, um, Clash of Clans. Circumstantial at best, really. <sighs> But before I was able to press home my discovery, a call came in. It was time to see the cunt force in action. Looks like we got a code 69 report of a carbon allocation excess on the On Me Boulevard. Over. I'll take this from you. Okay, follow me. Don't deal with this sort of thing all the time on the force. Here we go, here we go. Okay, 
using their state-of-the-art equipment, the cunt force move in quickly and cleanly to investigate the disturbance. Any spying police officers watching this better be, uh, taking notes. Fresh hibiscus. I just don't make it like this anymore. Attention all units. Constable Shinada here. I'm at the scene of the carbon allocation excess. Okay, I'm about to attempt a brief and clear, nay, a mental health check. It seems the suspect is uh, holed up inside this quasi-fortress and is unwilling to, to budge. The uh, cunt force are going to have to move in uh, quickly to put a stop to this polluting bastard who's destroyed the planet. Hey yo, this is the cunt force, open up! Don't make me come and get you in there, you impure rat! Open this lovely wooden door now! Teach you a little trick. <laughs> Hola, esta Juan Carlos. I'm here for your hot yoga class. Looks <laughs> like a charm. <laughs> hey, what did I do? Senor, what did I do? What did I do? Senor, what did I do? Oh, what did I do? What are you doing to me now? Hydrocarbon spewing Hitler. What did I do? Stop resisting, or I will force you on a plant based diet. I'll stop, I'll stop, I promise. I was sitting at Tinsy with the landscaping, eh? Hey. You are one metric ton over the daily carbon allocation limit. Do you know what that means? <laughs> Do you know what that means? What? Me? You can't be serious. What's going on, eh? Is that thing electric? Is that thing electric? I don't know what you're pointing at. Uh, what are you? I don't see anything. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> How about now, Papi? You see oh, it now? That thought be light, eh? <laughs> Uh, she can be a pretty gusty one sometimes, you see what I mean, eh? <laughs> Oof, that's a, that's a biggie. Uh, things get ugly here for the, uh, the resident who has just been caught using a vacuum cleaner to, uh, to suck his nature carpet clean. <laughs> Let's see what the, uh, cunt force decide to do now. Hmm? All right, sir. I'm gonna be charging you with a violation of excess carbon allocation and illicit possession of an absolute dump truck of an ass. Hey. <laughs> I mean, that thing's outrageous. Well, I, uh, will talk money my lawyer now anymore, eh? Everything I say can and uh, will be used against me. <laughs> say one more word, I will shove this iPhone off your ass. Who did that? Was that you? I, 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 mean, I mean, he who, uh, he who smelt it, uh, dealt it right. You realize methane is 75% carbon. What's your daily carbon allocation at? Rupert Ramsbottom, signing out. Get over here. Illuminating stuff as usual from the one and only Rupert Ramsbottom. Well, that's about it for this week, folks. Thanks for tuning in, and of course, shalom, losers. Still, uh, still here, are you? Well, how about you, uh, hit that, hit that subscribe button for me, then, yeah, okay. Come on, it's, it's right there. You just, just click for me. There you go. Click. <laughs> click. Right, just, just click the button. Subscribe to the channel now.